The former St. Louis Health Commission is now taking over a new post in private business as CEO of Cure Valence Global. Taxpayers in St. Louis are spending millions on Cure Valence that's supposed to key curb violence. Dr. Frederick Eccles take on the rising crime. That is tonight's You Paid For It. Dr. Frederick Eccles has landed on his feet after being forced out of his job as the St. Louis Health Commissioner. He didn't want to talk about that, but had a lot to say about his new gig as head of Cure Violence Global. St. Louis earmarked $7 million for Cure Violence, the anti-crime program that's supposed to cut homicides and other crimes. Right now, the program is operating in three 10-block by 10-block areas, so-called catchment areas. The city has spent millions of dollars on Cure Violence, yet it's seeing this big spike in crime. How do you explain that? So what we found over the first year of implementation is that it was effective um, in those catchment areas. There were three catchment areas in the city of St. Louis. Uh, one was in Dutchtown, the other one was in Wells Goodfellow, Hamilton Heights, uh, and Walnut Park. And so we've seen good results in those areas, but we can't control for um, the activities occurring in other parts of the city. As for what you get for your tax dollars. So the individual, so when, that was, when there's an in, the incident uh, that occurs, we have staff that will go out. Um, they'll work with the individuals who are involved with that incident. As they talk with those individuals and provide case management services, oftentimes they'll find that the individual living in high, living in high poverty. Um, they don't have job skills to obtain job placement. Dr. Eccles says you'll need to spend a lot more money to effectively battle crime in St. Louis. Right now, Cure Violence is in three areas at $750,000 a piece. He says to make a big dent in crime, the city needs to be in at least 10 areas. He says the total budget for all that could be upwards of $10 million more. Seven to 10 sites at about $750,000 a site. Correct. That's a lot of money. It is, but when you look at the outcome, so if you're able to reduce violence, you're able to draw additional individuals to your community so people feel safer, so you're also able to increase um, uh, job placement. I asked about the current explosion of violent crime. To what do you attribute this big jump in crime, St. Louis and nationwide? So we know the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the economy across the across the nation, across the world, um, and the, the the individuals and populations that have been most heavily impacted by that are those who are already disenfranchised and felt like there was no hope. And so we have a, a group or a population that already feels hopeless to add a pandemic on top of that and had uh, additional economic depression on top of that. That creates a uh, uh, recipe for disaster. And as bad as you look in the city of St. Louis right now, crime in 2021 was actually down from the year before the city credits cure violence as one of the reasons for that drop. But of course, I'll continue to keep track of the millions you're spending on cure violence and whether you're getting your tax dollars worth. After all, you paid for it.